I wanted to give a little tour of what's going on in my back patio, which is nowhere close to as beautiful as the front patio. I'll give you a little pan. See all the water <laughs> soda bottles I've collected and all sorts of still lights that I'm going to string up, some bulbs, some dahlias. So what I did last night, I got my seeds in from Fedco Seeds and I was just so excited. So I planted up these, I think these are six inch planters. I planted indigo, which I just thought was the coolest thing to grow. Uh, under um, half of a little soda bottle cloche, some t Siam Queen basil. What is this? Oh, fern leaf dill, which is um, more of a dwarf variety, so it's not going to get um, super huge, hopefully. But the seeds from that, oh my god, they smelled so good. We have some bold gold chamomile, which Fedco said it produced more than the German chamomile, more flower heads. Um, and what I also liked about purchasing seeds from Fedco Seeds is they're based in Maine, and I am also in New England, so they had a lot of tips and reasons why they chose certain varieties for our growing area. So I feel a little bit more um, confident than just buying off a general website, especially when I'm growing something that they're like, it's just a little bit more obscure than like peas or something. Uh, and then I had this round midnight purple basil and I wasn't planning on getting any basil but the description was just like so luxurious I could not say no and so the herbs are both in these little um four inch planters that I also got from Target I'm um, planning on planning on putting these out my front porch so I wanted to make sure that they were in kind of like nice planters. And I have some onion sets that I bought at, uh, it wasn't Lowe's, I think it was, what's that other one, the competitor? Anyway, you know. And they were all spreading. I bought a bag of, I would say, a hundred sets. Um, I just tried to pick the bag that had the most shoots. I would say that half of them would, had either, they were all dried up or were just like way too small. So I probably would plan ahead for next year and either grow my onions from seed or I would buy them um, from like maybe another site like Fedco or, you know, something like that where I might be getting a little bit more bang for my buck. But that's okay because I'm not planning on, you know, planting 100 onions, so it doesn't really matter. In this guy, I have some garlic. Um, it's just... Oops, I accidentally, <laughs> I accidentally pressed the button to take a picture, so I've been doing that out. Uh, what I was saying was I planted some, just some organic garlic that I got from Trader Joe's that was super sprouting. So I put it in this soda bottle container. Um, that and the onions, I'm not sure where I want them to go yet. There's six garlic in there and then nine onions in the milk jug. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. So they're just kind of rooting and getting ready in there while I decide because I definitely it's May so it's really late to get those things out and growing. If they don't come up that's okay but I still wanted to try them out. Next thing that I have that's really exciting is this Tom Thumb Baby Bib Lettuce. 
and I just put them in these um, little strawberry pint thingies. And what I thought was so cool is their little <laughs> heads of baby bib lettuce, but they only get four to five inches across. And I <laughs> that was just the cutest thing ever that existed in life. So I'm going to try and grow these and I just can't wait to have a summer dinner with my family where I can surprise them and each person gets their own individual head of lettuce. I think it's just going to be so funny. Um, I got this strawberry from Lowe's. Um, it's already going. It's one from Bonnie. It's the, can't really see it, the quinault. So it's going to be an ever-bearing strawberry. And I put it, um, I cut open this soda bottle and just plopped it in there until it gets a little warmer. Um, it's not past our last frost date yet or our intended last frost date. Um, when I did get this, there were still a few, There, I'm not still. There are a few berries on there, so I plucked those off, um, but I do believe it's a little too cold for a strawberry to be surviving out here on its own. What I did with these snowbird peas is I planted them really thickly, and what I want to do is crop off some delicious pea shoots. So from what my understanding is, is you grow up the pea shoots and you can cut them off maybe like two or three times and they go great in salads. You can cook them up in um, different meals. So I'm just really excited about that. So it sounds really cool. I don't have obviously tons of room to be trellising millions of peas. Um, this is a really neat little guy that I got at Whole Foods. And this is a pitcher plant, um, which, which is so beautiful. And he's in this little coffee cup right now because they need to be kept in standing water, basically. And he's been out here for, I don't know, I would say a good two weeks and doing really well. There doesn't seem to be any liquid in the pitchers. I did catch a fly indoors and put the fly in there, but there's no liquid for the plant to digest the fly yet, so we'll see. I got a dahlia from Trader Joe's. I believe it's like way too early for dahlias right now, but we'll see how it goes. The, it's been outside for about a week. Obviously, I hardened it off. There was a big you know, show flower for when it's in the store that's already gone and passed. And there's these little buds, and I, I really don't want to stop this plant. It's just so beautiful. So until I pot it on, I'm just going to let these little buds keep going. And then I've planted up a couple little things in these water bottles that I've cut in half and made like these mini greenhouses and there's not really that much condensation it's just I watered them and it got a little messy so what I did is I didn't have like a really tray so I just combined a bunch of different <laughs> methods um, I used these half uh, toilet paper rolls that I made into little biodegradable planters and then I put them inside the bottom of the water bottle and then I just pot the top over and it will give us a little little greenhouse effect so I have planted um, a loose leaf lettuce blend from Burpee and of course to open the package I cut off the top which Said what was in the blend so <laughs> it'll be a surprise I also planted these papaya cream nasturtiums I 
hope, I hope, I hope it's not too late for nasturtiums. I guess they're like a spring and a fall plant, but it has been cold. It's my first time growing them, so we'll just see how it goes. Um, the seeds are really pretty. They look like little, little nuts or something. They're just so beautiful. So I've planted two in each, or you know, one container, two seeds per container. Some I just rubbed on the nail file and then others I let soak overnight. I marked off which method I did with each, so we'll see how that goes and which one um, leads to more germination. And then in this big planter, which I kind of regret, I think this is um, like a 2.7 gallon planter, I put in some of these short and sweet carrots. They're um, obviously, oops, right there, four inch roots, um, so they'll grow nice for a patio carrot. But look at that, 68 days to harvest. What the hell? So, you know, let's see those for a while. I'm not sure if they'll stay on the back patio or the front patio. We'll see. Um, there's a few more projects that I'm going to get on today, but. This is my little area. I don't have any shelving <laughs> yet. I was thinking of getting one of those just like metal garage racks that has three shelves and I could, you know, have a better area for everything to be sitting on instead of just like flailing around on the porch. But we'll see how everything goes. All right, have a good day. Oh, also, what I forgot to mention is I got this really cool garden tool, which I think is really cool. Um, it's uh, a mister. It's a little, I've seen a lot of people for their seedlings use these kind of fine misters instead of having to use the trigger spray bottles, which gets really old really fast. So when I was looking into purchasing one on Amazon, they were or at least the ones that I were finding on Prime, because I have Prime and who else, like, duh, free shipping. The ones that I was looking at were still pretty expensive, so I remembered from University of YouTube that on some videos that I had seen of people who raise reptiles, that they also used these same type of misters, so I got a <laughs> reptile mister. It's from Exoterra, and I think it was like, I don't know, seven or eight dollars. Um, and I just, it kind of also makes me happy because if you watch those videos <laughs> and the people are like <laughs> misting and so, oops, I gotta pump it. But the people will be missing like their geckos and stuff and the geckos are just like so excited about getting water and they just like lap it up with their little mouths it's really cute so I have my first pro fesh gardening tool and also just this like happy little thought in the back of my mind about those really cute geckos just loving life okay bye